Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or hello, welcome, you know, if you're new here. Today I have another Tinder story time for you guys because you guys seem to be liking this. I figured I would tell you guys my first Tinder date that I ever went on. So I matched with this guy, we're going to call him Max because that's what his name was. And he messaged me first, and it was a line from the movie Step Brothers, which is one of my all-time favorite movies ever. I know, like, every line to it, so I knew it was from Step Brothers. So I returned back with a quote from Step Brothers as well. So we just kept going back and forth saying quotes from that movie. And I'm like, dude, this is the one. This, this is the one. And I know I say that with all of them, but I was like, he is. This guy knows every word to Step Brothers, just like me. We can watch it and say every line all day together. I mean, it was, it was perfect. And the reason why I swiped right on him was because he was his bio was just super funny and he actually was super funny when we started talking and then I was like, okay, we have to go on a date. We have to go hang out or do something. So I initiated it. I asked him and he was like, yeah, of course. So he was totally down for it and he was like, meet me at this bar at 8. I have a surprise for you. And I was like, okay, a surprise kind of date, not telling me what's going on. I like that. It's I mean, it's kind of cool when somebody surprises you with something, but not in this case. <laughs> so I had my friend drop me off at this bar because I figured I would have a drink or two and don't drink and drive, don't do it. So she dropped me off and I pulled up and he was waiting outside and she's like, ooh girl, he cute. And I was like, ooh girl, I know. So I give him a hug and I just, you know, introduce myself like, so great to meet you in person. And it's kind of awkward that first like, like, oh yeah, it's nice to meet you. You don't know if you're supposed to like handshake or hug or whatever. So we walk into the bar and uh, it was Carrie fucking Oki night. Yes. Freaking Carrie Oki. I'm trying not to cuss in these because I don't think you're supposed to anymore. No. I don't mind Carrie Oki if the people are good singers. <laughs> it sucks when you have to sit there and listen to people who think they can sing so well and you're just drinking your you just have to get drunk through the whole thing which i mean i guess is kind of the point but it i mean it's <sighs> so there was a girl who got up there and she just thought she was the shit she thought she had it all going for her she thought she was going to be a pop star she just thought i mean she thought she was it we're laughing you know having a good time we're just laughing at these people not like in a mean way like laughing because if they wouldn't have went up there if we didn't you know Okay, we're bad people. <laughs> so I'm drinking, I've got a little buzz going on, and then I hear over the loudspeaker, Max is up next. And I was like, your name really better not be Max. And he's like, I'm going to go up there and sing. And I was like, yay. So he like literally ran up on stage, he was so happy, and he sang, um... Nothing But A Good Time by Poison, which is a great song. I love that song. But, um, you know, I, I don't think I can listen to it anymore after hearing him sing it. So he gets up there and he is just going to town. He's, like, running around. He's getting, like, everybody into it. It was just, it was fun, but he wasn't a good singer. But when I tell you that he sang bad, it was like he had to be tone deaf. I mean, it was bad, but I didn't judge him off of that or anything. I, I mean, I, at least he had the guts to get up there and do it because I know I did not have the guts to get up there and do that. I would not sing in front of all those people. And I have a horrible voice, so I wouldn't have done it anyway. So after his performance, he came back over to the table and he was like, so how great was that? And I just kind of laughed and I was like, yeah, you remind me of Miranda Sings. And he was like, what? And I was like, oh, were you not, you weren't joking? I like, I genuinely thought he got up there as a joke. Like, he was, like, like, he was literally, like, grinding on, like, the old people over there. He was just getting down. He was, like, I thought it was just one big joke, but, but no, he, um, he gave it his all, and he actually thought he was very good. So, I was just, like, oh, I'm, I was joking, like, ha, you were so great, and he was, like, I know, thanks. He's, like, I just, I love, I love to sing, and I was, like, oh, that's, you know, that's great. I love to sing, too. I don't do it publicly because I'm horrible, but, you know, I do it, too. So then he's like, on to the next bar, because down the street is just a whole bunch of bars. You can just bar hop and go to each of them to see kind of, like, what they have to offer. And we go um, 
Yeah, we go into another one, and can you guess what night it is? Yeah, it was karaoke night again. And I was just pissed off, and I was like, oh, bro, you are not going to go up there and sing again. And this fool literally ran up to the sign-up sheet and signed his name, and I was just like, I'm going to have to take, like, 10 tequila shots right now just to get through another performance of his. So this time he decides to sing Caught Up In You, again, another great song, again, he did it horribly. So he comes up and he was like, so did you hate that too? And I was just like, no, I was like, oh no, that was great, you know, you did a good job. So then we go back to his place because he has a couple friends over and they're having like a small little kickback, so he was like, you want to come back and we'll hang out there some more, and I was like, as long as you promise not to sing. And I was just like, okay, yeah, whatever, let's do this. This night can't get any worse. I was wrong. So we get to the house and all of his friends are like, yo, Max, what, what? And I was just like, are you like the popular guy here or what? And the first thing his one of his friends says is, um, hey, Max, why don't you, um, why don't you grab your guitar, man, and you can play us your new song. I sat there and I was just like, is this guy for real? I was like, I had my fingers crossed and I was praying. I was hoping that this was all a joke and he was going to come back and be like, Hi, I pranked your ass. I hate singing. You know, I just went up there to have fun. And, and so I was like, oh, you, you write music too. And he was like, yeah, I do. I guess I can play a song for everybody here. And I was just like, you're the douche of the effing party. So he gets out his guitar. He starts strumming. And the song is about a freaking cat. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? It was literally about a cat he seen walking in the alley who was really lonely. What? So I started to laugh, which, you know, was the wrong thing to do. Because all of his friends turned at me and they were like, why are you laughing? And I was like... Uh, um, I don't know. So, um, his friends got super mad at me, and he got super pissed to the point where he looked like he was about to cry, and he was like, I can't believe you would, I can't believe you're so rude about this. And I was just like, bro, you, you wrote a song about a cat. And so basically, you know, I got kicked out of that house. <laughs> so, the next day, he sent me this text message, hold on, I might have it still on my phone, oh my god. So... The next day, he sends me a text, which I'm so thankful that I still have it. I screenshotted it, and I still had it. It's saved, like, all the way up in my pictures. Oh, my God. So, the next day, can you speak? Oh, look at my boy. Oh, look at that boy on my laundry. Can you even see him? I don't know. So, this is what the text says. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that you were really rude last night. You're the only girl I've had a crush on that I've ever played in front of, but I'm going to give you another chance to go out with me again. All you have to do is admit that you were jealous and that's why you laughed and that I'm a good singer. Because I know and you know that I am. I'll let you think about it. <laughs> I didn't text him back, um, you know, because I, I didn't want another chance with him. And it sucked because I really thought this guy was going to be cool and we were going to be like hecka funny together and we were going to be like cute couple that always does like pranks and like shit on each other and it, you know it, that came crashing down really quick. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this another, this another, this another. I hope you guys, had, uh, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed another one of these Tinder date videos. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here to, you know, join this cool ass group of people. That's what we're called here. Anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and yeah, bye! I didn't know I could move one eyebrow.